Hi. Today's topic is what is cryptocurrency and should I invest in it? Cryptocurrency, it's a hot patch word of the investing world these days, but what is cryptocurrency really? Ever heard of Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Litecoin, XRP, or Ethereum? No, the rent embracing rock and band names from the 19s. They are actually types of cryptocurrency, like digital money, and they are trending everywhere you look. But here's the million dollar or million Bitcoin questions. Should you invest in cryptocurrency despite what every loudmouth on the internet yells at you from their digital soapbox? Buying cryptocurrency isn't safe bait for your investing future. But we will get more into that in a minute. Let's unpack what in the world crypto is first what is cryptocurrency cryptocurrencies are digital assets people use it use as investments and for online processes you exchange real currency like dollars to buy coins or tokens of a certain kind of cryptocurrency. Think of it this way. Cryptocurrency is kind of like swapping out your money in a new country. A Benjamin can buy you a nice dinner in the States. But if you want to enjoy fine dining in Italy, you will need some euros we value dollars and euros because we know we can purchase goods or services with them. The same goes for cryptocurrency. You exchange your money for crypto and use it just like real money at places that accept it as a type of payment. So where the heck do we get the word cryptocurrency from? Anyway, we're glad you asked. It comes from the word cryptography, meaning the art of writing or solving codes. It sounds like the setup of an Indiana Jones movie, right? Each coin of cryptocurrency is a unique line of code. And cryptocurrencies can be copied, which makes them easy to track and identify as they are traded. You probably heard of people making or losing hundreds of thousands of dollars by investing in cryptocurrency. It feels like a modern the gold rush all of sudden. <clears throat> How does cryptocurrency work? Cryptocurrency is exchanged person to person on the web without a middleman like a bank or government. It's like the wild west of the digital world, but there's no marshal to uphold the law. Here's what we mean. Have you ever hired a kid in your neighborhood to mow your lawn or watch your dog while you were out of town? Chances are you paid them in cash. You don't need to go to the bank to make an official transaction. That's what's, what it's like to 
exchange cryptocurrencies. They are decentralized, which means no government or bank controls how they are made, what their value is, or how they are exchanged because of that cryptocurrencies are worth whatever people are willing to pay or exchange for them. Yep, it's pretty wild with us so far. Okay, good, because we are about to get into the take which even more. How does someone earn cryptocurrency? There are basically two ways. Um, someone can get their hands on cryptocurrency. They can buy it or they can mine for it. Wait, what does that even mean? Don't worry, you won't need to raid your garage for a shovel or pickaxe. Cryptocurrencies are based on something called blockchain technology. A blockchain is like a really long receipt that keeps growing with each exchange of crypto. It's a public record of all of the transition transactions that have ever, ever happened with a given type of cryptocurrency. Yes, it sounds like it's straight out of the matrix, just think of it like a ledger that shows the history of that piece of currency. In the crypto world, mining happens when people use their computers to solve super complicated math problem that makes your new crypto transaction are correct than those transactions get added to blockchain aka the receipt as a reward for making sure a purchase made with crypto is legit these people mining are then paid in cryptocurrency how do you store your cryptocurrency you store your cryptocurrency in something called a digital wallet, usually in an app or top the vendor where you process your coins. Your wallet gives you a private key, a unique code that you enter in order to digitally sign off on process. It's mathematical proof that the exchange was legit. So, this is enough for today. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon also. Bye bye.